Uh, this is a quick presentation to demonstrate to you the integration that we now are launching between Interact HRMS and Moodle. Interact HRMS is a global HRMS platform. It's got 85 different modules that handle core HR, payroll, talent, time and leave, and many other things. All these modules share uh, one foundation, which has easy integration, uh, a common security framework, a single common database, and a single platform for workflow alerts, reports, and self-service. Uh, Interact is developed in PHP, just like Moodle. It, it can be deployed either in the cloud or on-premise. It's very customizable, and it is developed using open source technology. Our products are really scalable. They've been tested for up to 2 million employees, and there aren't many organizations out there that have more than 2 million employees, I'm sure. And it's also designed for multilingual use. Moodle, on the other hand, is not an HRMS. It's an all-in-one learning platform. So Moodle provides you with a very flexible tool set also. And that uh, supports both blended learning and online courses. And on the other hand, Moodle is very configurable. Just like Interact HRMS, you can turn on or turn off features and modules. And it can integrate easily with other systems. It also has a lot of collaborative tools, including forums, wikis, chats, and blogs. So you can imagine the power if you put these two together. For those organizations that are using Moodle, employees and users will be synchronized. Training courses and schedules can synchronize and, and tr transfer between the two. Employee training history is obviously kept on both sides. You'll be able to track competencies. You'll be able to uh, have people register for training online. Uh, through the HRMS and it will pass right on to Moodle and you can pick up the tests and quiz results uh, that uh, are found in Moodle once a person has taken a specific test. So there's a lot more to it but this is uh, in a nutshell what we do and there's a lot more that we're doing to expand on that. I'll show a few more things. This is Interact's mobile uh, interface so uh, your self-service can be handled through your smartphones. You've got alerts, you got workflow, you have KPIs. Interact is a truly global HRMS, so it's been deployed in 35 countries right now, but it's growing rapidly. And as I said, there are 85 different modules in HR, payroll, time, talent, benefits, and risk. Each one of these modules can be deployed in any country, and that includes the payroll. Payroll is completely configurable. So usually clients of ours start simple, and then they expand and get a lot more sophisticated with it. Uh, it's got a very open architecture. As I said, it's easy to integrate with, and that's why we've done that uh, using web services to talk to Moodle. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So here I have some courses that are defined in Moodle already. You can see a bit more detail right here also on these particular courses. Now, those same courses can be transferred to Interact pretty much instantly. Here I have the same uh, courses in Interact HRMS import uh, grid. It's giving me a view of what's available uh, from uh, Moodle right now. And I can play around with this, but I'm going to just go ahead and import these. Now this could have been done automatically, meaning the system could automatically read from Moodle for this. But now I can see all my Moodle courses right here. All right, now let's say we're going to have a new employee in the system, and in order for me to show you some of the integration on the system, but first let me pick up one other element, is which you will find that for these particular courses we also have competencies defined. See, we have teamwork, adaptability, flexibility, and so on, and employees will be measured on these competencies later on. So these same competencies have been picked up by the system after we imported that. So the competency framework that exists in Moodle has been recreated in Interact HRMS, or we could also work the other way around. You see the little M here shows that these are Moodle competencies. Now. In order for me to show you some further integration, I'm going to hire a new employee and have that employee register for a course. We'll do that real quick. So we'll hire an employee real quick. Her name will be Patricia Moodle. 
All right, and we are going to put her in a group which is called admin staff. You see, this is a standard enterprise HRMS that we're using. There are a lot of um, uh, rules that kick in when I do this, but I'm not going to cover that right now. We will just uh, pick a picture and we will give her a quick salary and put in some uh, further details and then we can proceed. So we did the fastest way to put a new person into the HRMS. Remember we're adding her in the HRMS and interact HRMS right now. This gives you uh, access to an enterprise HRMS with paywall and everything else. That's why there's so much data that I'm collecting. Now I'm going to proceed here and give her a username and password. We'll just call her Moodle. We'll just find uh, Patricia Moodle right here. So I'm going to give her a quick username and password. If you're using Active Directory, this could be activated also um, in a different manner. I'm keeping it simple right now. So let's go in and log in as Patricia, the new hire. So here's your new employee. Now there's a ton of things that she can do, which we will cover next time. She can put in leave requests. She can request a loan, sign up for uh, or request company travel approval. Um, sign up for benefit plans, uh, see her payroll, uh, do whatever you want. Uh, fill in her W-4 for her payroll, um, fill in timesheets, update her profile, and so on. Right now, the only thing I'm going to do is register for training. Among these training courses, you will find also the Moodle courses. This is the Principles of Finance course that I was showing you earlier. So let's check the schedule for that. There is one uh, taking place on the 16th. I have international date format turned on here right now, so I'm going to proceed with that. I'm going to re register, and now the registration has been done. Now this request needs to be approved. Now it could have gone to the supervisor. In my case, I didn't send it on to a supervisor. I have it uh, sitting here for somebody in HR to deal with it. So I'm going to take a look, and you can find that uh, this employee is right here. Patricia Moodle has requested this course. And all I need to do really is to go ahead and approve the request. So now that this uh, request has been approved successfully, if I go to my Principles of Finance course, and I look at the participants, and we look at the ones with Moodle with an M, in their last name, you find Patricia Moodle right here. She's been added as a student automatically. There was no data entry to be done on the Moodle side. On top of that, if I now log in as Patricia Moodle in the Moodle um, login, so now I can see that I am uh, given access to Moodle as Patricia Moodle and I have a course in my list right now, which is Principles of Finance, which, as you have noticed, I did not register for through Moodle. I registered for this through my Interact training because you may have a further wider corporate system for training and other purposes for which you want to have one central database, but you use Moodle for many other purposes, and therefore you will have this information on both sides. Obviously, Interact HRMS is much more than this. It's a complete enterprise HRMS. It has KPIs. It has very extensive enterprise payroll, global payroll, as we mentioned before. You can play around. You can see your statistics. You can analyze your data, and you can manage a complete corporate HRMS, talent management, HR, payroll, scheduling, do everything you want to do there. It is used in all industries, government, education, um, uh, finance and banking, consulting, but also oil and gas, manufacturing, and many other other areas. So, what we did today is very simple. We actually had training courses moved from Moodle to Interact with one click. After that, we had a new employee hired in Interact. That employee was able to register for these training courses, and the employee's new information 
and registration were passed on directly to Moodle and the employee was able to manage and log in through the Moodle self-service and access the training content right there and continue the training plan that was given to them. So there's a lot more to it. We will cover that in future sessions. Thank you.